Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back. We're gonna be watching Taiso Samurai episode 7. Last week's episode was very, very touching between Jotaro and Ra Rachel. There was definitely this a lot that Rachel was carrying on herself and she was not communicating to her father enough because she really didn't want to burden him. And the most shocking thing of all was like she got a bike for a gift and it didn't even occur to him that she didn't know how to ride it. And she just seems to hide her capabilities how capable she is just kind of overrides the fact that she's still a kid and she's always like it's okay dad i got this we're good da, 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 da. so it's like that really pushed on he felt like he could almost let go of some of his responsibility you know um but they finally kind of reached each other and he understands that she still needs him to a degree you know and he's gonna have to do more to balance that and communication is key the other good news is that Leo actually came back, so I had suspicions as for why he left, you know, it seems to only be a momentary thing, yada yada yada. But then at the end of the episode, they gave us this, this idea, that they showed us a picture and he looks straight up like a ballet dancer, but is he a professional dancer? Is that why these men and women in black were after him? Like, do, is he like, pretty famous or whatever? And he has to, you know, go to his scheduled rehearsals. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't seem like they were after him to harm him, but they were after him probably because he has to commit to something and then he was able to go again, it seems. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the deal, but he's the most mysterious character so far and definitely giving me a lot of anticipation to know more about him. So that little teaser they gave us has really excited me for this week's episode. So without further ado, guys, let's get right into it. Oh, oh my god. Okay. They're watching him. Bro, look, he's so pretty! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's really like a ballet dancer, guys. He's stunning. Oh. Like. Oh my god. This is not what I expected. They were chasing him to see his dancing. The pride of royal. Is he on a stage? No, I don't think he's on a stage. You're so- oh my god, you're gorgeous, stop. That's why he obviously left. London. Oh my god, look at him! He did run away, but what's what's his deal? Like Like, he works for- it. What is it, though? Like, I want to know what their relationship really is. This is the last time. Like, why does she have this leverage over him? Did she just do that, like, to play? <laughs> I don't know why this opening always just makes me crack a smile. <laughs> right, the training camp. Guys, I'm sorry, Leo is so beautiful dancing, I can't get over this. Dude, you pay attention. <laughs> Stop. 
So cool, man. Dang. I can't pronounce Chinese names for crap. Dude, oh, he's just enjoying the moment. Girl with purple hair spotted. She's probably important. Boy. Dude. Respect the... It's the his spirit. Oh, look at you. Nicely built, sir. Nicely built. Oof. Oh. I'm scared, though. Okay, no, he did good. He did really well. Nah, he's fine. I don't think he's gonna beat him. I think he's he, he's gonna do better. It's too soon for him to beat him. That little turn on the bar is just so Oh, that was fire! Like, what? People really do this? Oh! <gasps> That was sick. That was so cool, guys. I was so fascinated. Yeg. Oh, very clean landing, too. I knew that would happen. <laughs> but that's like super good. See, so he still has someone to beat, you know? He still has this... He's not where he wants to be yet. He said, can I try something too? Oh, go ahead. Oh my goodness. I get chills watching this show because it's just so cool. I honestly wish I started stuff like this when I was younger, gymnastics. <gasps> so flipping cool. If I get the chance, I'm going to still do it, y'all. <laughs> I feel like it's something you need to own your body to, though. I'm not flexible either that much, so... The band is lifted. <gasps> oh, get it, sir. He just wanted to try that, I think. <laughs> he just jumped off. <laughs> Oh my gosh. He wasn't trying to show off. He just wanted to do it. <laughs> oh, they're watching you. Oh, they came. I was about to say, I'm like, he better have told her yesterday. Why does girl looking? She creeping. Like, daughter, is she jealous? Like, what is she, why is she? Oh, he's like, tension. <laughs> why is she talking? Oh, honey, you're going to be surprised. Leo's a ninja. <laughs> I love him so much, guys. What the hell? Hard on him? You was super close to the guy, though. <laughs> I love how he's just standing there each time with his hands behind his back. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's a Zoro, he's a who else? Legs. Who else has no sense of direction that we know? He reminds, you know he reminds you of Bakugo so much? Oh, and his name is Techan. He calls him Techan, just like Kachan, like, oh my god. <laughs> Sir, what is your problem? I bet you used to look up to him and now you're just like... Oh, did something happen like when he couldn't dance or something? Oh, 
Hold on. In a world like that, like what? There's no place for someone who can't win. Mm. But yeah, it's scary to live in a place like that. No place for someone who can't win? Are you kidding me? Might as well not be human. He was smiling. He's gonna follow him too because he doesn't know how to get back. <laughs> Yee yeah, boy. That girl is gonna pull up. What's her deal? What the hell? That's so creepy. Okay, good. It was, bro, he was just testing himself. <laughs> It had nothing to do with the viewers at the time. It was just, do you mind if I, <laughs> do you mind if I real quick? Mm. Practicing even after hours, despite the dinner party. Cause I wanna be, damn! <laughs> Jeez! Up and coming young Japanese gymnast. It's not necessarily about winning. Well, you know, that's his business. <laughs> wow, you big laughing. Unexpected. Damn, his life sucks. Oh, that's really sad. He hasn't laughed like that in a long time. Oh no, the ending song. I really love the outro a lot, so this is fine. The quadruple. <gasps> oh, wow. He's going to try to up it. Yeesh. All right, so it's going, it's going. I am so happy to have... Learn about Leo. He looks beautiful dancing. Oh my gosh, he's so great. It was just so lovely to see him dance like that. His situation is still a little bit vague. What's his connection to this lady? Why is she able to threaten him? Why is he being pulled around by her? Like, what's up? Why was he unable to dance at some point? I guess he was in a dancer's rut of sorts, but like, was there a reason for that? Um, did he just lack inspiration with how he was dancing or with how he had to dance or yeah you know like writers artist block something like that maybe he was just going through a rut and by going to japan seeing these people work super hard especially jotaro um being with the daughter things like that might just inspire him to be more free and to just have fun and dance again as he wants to but still, it's not clear if he's like super famous or whatever it is, like, still don't really know what the deal is, but dude went to London. I'm happy it's nothing like super, super serious though, like he wasn't being threatened, like his life wasn't in danger with these men and women in black. Um, in fact, they actually are fans and they just did super hard, they worked super hard to find him per this woman's request. So that's pretty exciting, I wonder how their lives are going to end up meshing together while he... Jotaro and them are like all about the gymnastics and he's about the dance. I don't think he's particularly practicing, but he has to leave by winter. So it's just like, how is this all going to clash? You know, I'm really hyped to see that. I'm sure it's going to be like the climatic kind of like 
Debbie Downer part of the show because we're going to be like, oh no, he's leaving or I don't know what's going to happen, honestly, but I feel like it can go in like kind of sad way or like a really positive way. We have Techan also. Um, he, as we kind of discovered last week, he really just has this thing about being the best. It's not that he's particularly passionate about gymnastics or the medals or the cheers or whatever, the titles. Although it seems like you would think he wants the title because he wants to be at the top. But it's really more personal satisfaction that he seems to want to gain from this. I went full throttle on this and I'm at the top. Yes, sir. Like, that's what he wants. <laughs> and honestly, he reminds me so much of Bakugo. Like, in the way that he has this kind of, like, little hate or, like grudge of sorts whatever it is towards Jotaro reminds me of Bakugo and Midoriya and how he's like talking down on him and looking down on him he should just stop da 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 but at the same time I'm pretty sure deep down it's not like a genuine hatred it's not and because of all this he's putting just that much more pressure on himself similarly to Bakugo so yeah they just really reminded me a lot of each other and then Leo came with a name like Techan like come on catch on Techan but yeah, so Jotaro is going to be working on doing a quadruple Aragaki, so that's going to be his next step. Whether that will be enough or not to actually beat the other two or to be brought much closer to them, who knows, it probably will be, to a degree, to a very close margin at least. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the situation right now, so that is the end of this video, guys. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave how you feel. Thoughts down below, no spoilers. And I'll see you again soon. So thank you and bye.